Have you ever finished a visualizer and noticed that something was missing? Well, let's add 3D into that. So today I'm going to show you just that. I'm going to show you guys how to add 3D models inside of your visualizers. It's a pretty easy and simple tutorial to follow. So if you stick to the end of the video, you will be able to do it easily. So with no further ado, let's get right into it. Say my name. I wish you were here. So once that you're done with, with your visualizer, what you're gonna have to do is simply go online and you can search for websites that give the weight free 3D models like Sketchfab. This is a pretty good website and it has a lot of good free 3D models. Another alternative will be CG Trader. This is also a great website to have 3D models. You can search practically anything inside of it. Some models are not free, but some are. Just click on free and you'll see a bunch of free 3D models. But I prefer Sketchfab, so I'm just gonna go on Sketchfab and I'll search for my 3D model. Alright, now simply pick a model, you're gonna have to download it and make sure to select GLB. Now just click on download, you'll have it downloaded inside of your computer. So what you can do now is simply go back inside of After Effects, open your folders and I'll just drag and drop the 3D model. So this menu will appear, just click on OK. So as you can see, we can't really see the bullet, it's normal, so click on one view, select two views. Now the bullet is right there, so all you have to do is simply make sure it's visible to the camera. And now, the goal is to simply make sure that the anchor point is on the 3D model. So what you're gonna have to do is simply select this, select this thing right there. Now just place the anchor point where the bullet is, like so. And now just place it directly. So now what you can do is simply scale your bullet up. You can you can rotate it now what i'm gonna do is simply close the second view and i'm just gonna make duplicates of the bullet and i'm just gonna spread them around the scene make some variations like this i'm gonna push it back a little bit like that right now as you can see the 3d models are inside of your visualizer you can also animate them so what you can do is simply select the bullet click on r now you can just start animating the rotation so i'll just so i will animate the z axis so i'll add a keyframe right there and then i'm just gonna go forward and i'm just gonna start animating like so See, now we got 3D models inside of your visualizer. It was really simple to do, really not that hard to understand how to download the 3D model and, and import it inside of After Effects. I hope the video was helpful and if you want to know how I made this visualizer, all you have to do is simply click on this video right there that it will show on the screen. And also to support me, don't hesitate to leave a like to this video, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will be much appreciated and see you guys in another video.